Well, in order to uh, take these little screws, I got to do a changeover on my welder. So I think I'm going to do a little bit of a side video on this. Right now, what I've got on here is a um, 35 thousandths flux core wire, and I got to go down to a 24 thousandths uh, solid wire. So I think I'll just go ahead and do a little video on that just to uh, show what the procedure is for changing one of these over. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pull this wire out of the gun and uh, take the spool off. Let's see. I think I'm going to have to probably go in and get my tripod for this so that you guys can actually see what's going on while I'm doing it. So I'll be right back. Okay, I uh, guess we'll get started now. Um, this is a Handler 135 welder by Hobart, which is just a 110 volt welder. Uh, if you do a lot of heavy duty welding, you probably aren't interested in this particular welder, but then if you're a heavy duty welder, you probably don't have anything you can get out of this video anyway, so, because I'm not a welder. But anyways, here's how I start out then. Um, First I take this diffuser off of the um, weld gun and clip my tip my wire off and uh, then I take and pull off my tip and that basically uh, makes sure that my wire is free to come back out of the weld gun and then take and pop off my tensioner, um, lift this right out of the way and then start just basically running the wheel, reel back in. You can take the tension off a little bit if you want, makes it a little easier to turn. And uh, pull that wire right out of the gun. Okay, and once you get your wire out of your gun, just take your nearest hole and loop her in there and tie her off. And now this spool's ready to come right off there. I got a little wing nut on the inside. This is just an adapter here to go to this bigger spool. I was uh, given this big spool of wire in uh, payment for some computer work that I did, so... I'll take that off of there. And uh, make sure I get my aluminum, my nylon bushings out of there, because I gotta go in the next spool. And so then I put my next spool on, make sure that it feeds from the bottom. Now before I put this on, I've got some a uh, little bit of surface rust on this here, and I'm just going to take a little um, brass or yeah, a brass brush and knock that off a little bit. Okay, and knocking that off just basically uh, makes it so that the wire feeds a little bit better. That a little rust that gets on there kind of makes it so it doesn't feed so well. But uh, then just slide that on, make sure it's feeding off the bottom. It's going to run this way. Well, it's going to run whichever way you set it in there. But And then I, you make sure the nylon's on first, and then your aluminum on the outside of that, and put your wing nut on. And this is your spool tension then. How much you tighten this wing nut is what actually sets your tension. And I just make sure it just enough on there will feed decent. And so then, um, since I'm going down to that fine, I have to change my feed wheel. And I, you just pull that little straight slot out of there. Is it showing up? Hopefully it's showing up on the video. And that just pulls out and it's got uh, two different diameter of um, guides on here. Just flip it around so that the fine one is the one that's on the other side. And it's on, on my wheel it tells you what it's for. It says it's 23 thousandths, 24 thousandths. So make sure that's the one that's lined up underneath the wire. And uh, then put your set your screw back on. Yeah, 
And since this is going from a um, flux core wire to a solid core wire, I've got to change my polarity. And that's just simply by switching these two uh, ground leads around. Or I should say switching the two leads around changing which one is your ground and which one is not your ground. They didn't give me a lot of slack on this one lead when they built this thing, but uh, Deal. One that leads on there pretty nice, the other one a little bit stiffer. A little ways there. Not bad, just that's probably from condensation too, I suppose. I get bad condensation out here in the shop. Okay, that's the polarity. And then, um, basically, what I do is I take in and pull a little bit of wire off this spool and clip it. I throw away a little bit of wire, but that's, if you don't, you're going to throw it away eventually, anyway. So. And then just feed her in here. You have to lift your uh, little doohickey up here a little bit. Just use all three hands. And kind of guide her in until it goes into the gun. And once you got her in there, just push her in until you get her in a little ways. Drop that down, and I set my tension down about three turns or whatever it is. And I got to pull you off here to show you the rest. Then um, the voltage doesn't matter. I turn my wire feed speed all the way on. Turn on the welder, and then you just take and pull your trigger and let the feed do all the rest. Well, see that's slipping. So I'm going to turn that down a few more notches. You're looking to see if watch you see the wire come out the end of the gun. Oh, you know, it's got to kind of pay attention to other things. I guess. Uh, now there's a spot in the gun, I think. Okay. When that happens, a lot of times what I do then is I turn down my feed speed so it doesn't get quite so hard. Down to about half. Okay, I got the gun working again. We got. Some sticking out. Get it out enough to put your new tip on. And what I do is I take and make sure that my old tip is still okay in order to decide whether I want to keep it or not. And that looks like it's fine, so I put that back in the container. I get off my uh, 23,000 tip. I got one that looks like I was using the last time. I'll go ahead and get that one out. Just take and slide your tip on over your wire. That on there. I take it all the way as far as I can go with the finger, and then I take the pliers and just kind of snug it just to here. Slide the diffuser on. And uh, I take and put it on purge. Turn my gas on since this is going to be a uh, solid core wire, we're going to have to use gas, and then I make sure I get gas flowing out the tip. You can see what I'm doing here. Just hit the trigger a few times, and I can feel the gas coming out the tip, so it means I'm ready to weld. Now the next step is just sitting there, setting her up for your, uh, for whatever it is you're welding, and your wire size, and ready to go at it.